Credibility check. I run a Pokemon shop from my basement that makes seven figures a year. Just kidding. But I do have a degree in physics and material science. So, if you're unaware, I recently did a video testing different slabs from different companies uh, in my lab. I tested things like UV resistance, cracking force, durometer, humidity, and tagged it pretty well in everything except humidity. Um, I think I know why now. Right after I posted the video, I was bombarded with comments about some guy who broke his slab with just his hands. So I watched the video and I watched a bunch of the other videos and it looks pretty legit. So I grabbed one and I gave it a try. And yes, it is cracking with my thumbs. So first thing you should know is the human hand can exert up to 110 pounds of force on average with your thumb like this. Second thing you should know, my crack force testing. This is cracking because it's bending. If you just push on it like this, it's not gonna crack. Push on it like this, it's not gonna crack. But also, in that video, my force gauge topped out at about 105. So I decided to figure out, try to figure out why these do this. I'm a little disappointed that Tag was kind of attacking the people putting this out there. I think a better response would have been to try to figure out why their slabs are doing this because the guy in the video, he also did a react video to my slab testing, but Tag was kind of just attacking the guy. I think the video's down now, I'm not sure. Better response would have been like, you see the results, you see that your slabs have issues, and you fix it. You figure out what's wrong and fix it. So I decided to try to figure out what's wrong, and maybe Tag will see this video, and maybe they'll take my advice and try to fix their issues. So whenever you bend this, Tag slabs are ultrasonic welded, just like PSA slabs. But using my crack apart tag slab from the testing you can see that it's only ultrasonically welded in certain areas like here and here and here and it kind of feels like it might be along the edges not very well if it is I don't know if you're gonna be able to see any of this see right here it's like in little patches right here right here. So basically, whenever you're bending this, that's what's cracking. You can see it on the edge start to crack. If you look close, you can see the, the cracks start propagating here. When something is ultrasonically welded, it essentially becomes one piece of material. So this material is bonded to the back material, and it's one piece of material. That means for the most part, it's very rigid, very secure, but I think only doing it in these certain sections, right here, right here, up here, it allows it to bend more in the sections where it's not ultrasonically welded, and then it starts to crack those welds, since there's, it's a very thin weld too. Um, once that weld cracks, that's a propagated crack, and since that weld is now part of the entire plastic, if you push harder, that crack is gonna continue to propagate and it's gonna come up here and it's gonna crack along the actual face of the slab. And I'm almost positive that's what's happening here after cracking this one a little bit, looking around, testing it. And then once all those welds are broken, you essentially have the front plate and the back plate. And if you break them all well enough, you'd be able to separate them or if you look at this, this is not as strong as the front and back plates welded together. So one plate is not as strong as two plates bonded. So then what you can do is just crack it with your thumb. And any single slab you have, if you have just one plate of plastic, you're going to be able to do that. And let's see here. Looks like the crack actually did start on one of those weld joints at the end of one of those weld spots. So that's further evidence to my theory. Could be wrong. I'm not claiming I'm right. This is just what I've seen. So if Tag were to completely weld it or maybe uh, have a thicker weld, 
I think that would completely fix this issue. PSA slabs, you can crack it apart and you can see it's completely sonic welded all around the outside, which makes the seal more rigid, which means it's not gonna be able to crack it as easily. But then again, people still crack out PSA slabs. So yes, it happens. No, I was not trying to say it doesn't happen. I didn't even know that that controversy had started, but I saw it was true. So I looked into it and I think I found the issue. So tag if you, I think you can easily fix that. Um, if you wanted to fix one, send it to me, I'll test it for you. I'll do some bin testing. I've got the equipment. I can bin test an old one and a new fixed one. Show the world. Apart from that, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me if my theory sounds plausible to you. Next slab testing video, I'm gonna have all of the slabs that people are suggesting that weren't in the first one. So comment on the slabs you wanna see. Then I'm gonna take some of the ones from the first one and some of the ones from the second one. And the third one is gonna be more real world, more long-term testing of the slabs and the plastic. And we'll see who the ultimate winner is.